Welcome everyone, I'm Kimberly Boschman and this is the Intentionally Intuitive Podcast. In this episode, we're going to take a look at the numerology and the energy for this upcoming full moon that's occurring on June 14th, 2022. And so uh, what I want to do, I'm going to do things a little bit differently for these um, moon readings ongoing. Um, I'm going to take a look at the numerology and the energy forecast for the collective, which I highly recommend you listen to because it does, you know, we're all part of the collective. So it does, we are... um, privy to these energies, right? We may feel them. Uh, Have a listen to that. And then I'm going to break the energies down into each life path um, forecast so that you can kind of see based on your life path number, how these, um, how this illumination may, may affect you, how you may feel the energies, that sort of thing. Okay, so this, of course, is a general reading. If you would like to take a look at your own personal energies and numerology, please book some time with me. The link for it to be able to do that is in the description box below. Okay, so before I get into the numerology, I went ahead and pulled an animal spirit card for this illumination. And very much aligned with the numerology, we received chameleon spirit. And so chameleon spirits message is uh, all about adaption, camouflage. When you think about the chameleon, it moves sort of slowly and it's got his little eyes are kind of um, moving all around, just taking everything in, um, seeing what's, what's going on around it so that it knows how to adapt so that it knows how it needs to uh, integrate into the situation, um, how it's meant to experience the, the, you know, its environment. And so I think it's really important to mention that, uh, we do have a lot of five energy coming through in this, uh, at this full moon. And so change, adaption, um, transformation, all of that is going to be very potent. And so I think that as we move through this illumination, through this energy, which can be at about the span of a couple of weeks, this isn't an eclipse energy. So, um, probably a couple of weeks we'll feel it. Uh, just try to embody chameleon energy, right? Especially if it's a change or a transformation that feels uncomfortable or that is unexpected, just play like chameleon, take everything in, look around, you know, and then adapt as needed, right? There's going to be probably a lot of, um, need for surrender, a lot of, uh, need to go with the flow, that sort of thing. A lot of things that we need to release control over with this illumination. And so instead of fighting that you just, I don't know, anytime I've ever seen a chameleon they're ju- they just seem so <laughs> relaxed and chill. Like they're just, taking it all in, going with the flow, doing their thing and adapting, right? And doing what they need to do. Okay, so looking at the numerology for the collective. So this full moon illumination emphasizes the vibrations of the five and the eight. So it's very possible that collectively we could see major shifts or transformations when it comes to power uh, and the balancing of power, shifts in resources and global financial infrastructures. So we may be asked now to be much more adaptable in how we spend money, how we make money and where we place value when it comes to our purchasing power. So again, the five is all about change, um, freedom, uh, freedom of expression. Um, this is a big, fast moving energy. So it's, it doesn't want to be tied down. It doesn't want to be restricted. It's, um, go big or go home kind of energy. And that coupled with the eight, which is a very material plane energy. It's very much, it's very tangible. It's very about, again, power, money, business, resources, um, power dynamics, philanthropy, all these things, as well as intuition, uh, and a spiritual connection as well. But really, I think this illumination is really going to bring into the forefront a lot around change adaptability when it comes to finances, resources, especially on a global stage. Um, so you may see again, uh, power play, right? Things, things going back and forth around power and, um, 
redistribution of power, uh, where there's injustices, putting, uh, bringing uh, justice to that situation. I could see that all kind of be playing out now. Supply and demand is a real force. And when we buy something needed or not needed, we're saying we want more of this, whatever it is. So we may need to get creative when it comes to finances and our purchasing power to perhaps send a different message. If we want to see some sort of a shift, right? So it doesn't make sense to get angry or frustrated at large corporations, if we are constantly showing uh, consistent support for them and how they conduct business, right? So by purchasing their products, we're saying, we like what you're doing and we want more of this. So we always have a choice and it doesn't necessarily mean that it's gonna be an easy choice, but we always have a choice. And many times there are smaller businesses who offer similar products and whose values may be in greater alignment with our own. And so it may be a little bit more pricey. It might take a little bit longer to receive. It might not have that instant gratification. Um, but there are options out there, right? And so we just need to <clears throat> take that power back and decide how we want to use that voice, right? Like how we want to use our buying power and then, and think about the message that we're sending when we make that purchase. Uh, a lot could come up now around, again, power, power struggles, reclaiming power, and not sinking into sort of victimization, meekness, or submissiveness uh, out of fear. Eight and five energy together ignite the desire for expansiveness and sort of ultimate freedom. So anything that's trying to impose overly rigid or oppressive restrictions now will likely be faced with some level of revolt, pushback, uproar, that sort of thing. Personally, you may find at this time that certain routines or uh, mundane ways of doing things begin to feel really sort of claustrophobic. So it would be very easy under this energy to sort of make big sweeping changes within your life. And I would say just, you know, try to keep your head about you as you, you know, as you move through this energy, because when it calms down and you're only left, you know, you're kind of left with nothing familiar at that point, because you made these big sweeping changes, you may be wishing that you would have left something standing, right? So again, chameleon spirit can come in at this time and just kind of, again, just take a look around, slow your roll a little bit and make sure that the things that you are releasing or getting rid of or breaking free from are things that are ready to be released um, and, and broken free from, right? Like, um, you don't just wake up one day and be like, I'm going to quit my job and because uh, I hate it here. And so you just quit your job and you've got nowhere else to go and um, not the best financial decision or whatever the case may be, right? So it's very easy under this five energy to really get swept up in it and just make very impulsive decisions that uh, when the energy sort of fades in a couple of weeks, you may be thinking, oh, maybe I shouldn't have done that, right? I mean, the good news is, is that it's it's probably only going to be pretty potent for a week to two weeks. So <laughs> any big major changes that you make are probably going to be things that you can kind of um, backtrack on if you feel you need to. But I would say just really take everything, you know, just do an overview, make sure that what you're, you're, um, diving into or making changes for is, is what you want to be doing. Right. And what feels right for you for a long-term, uh, potential commitment. So it could also be very easy to overspend in this period or overindulge. So allow your senses to be delighted without being gorged. <laughs> and so trust me, you'll thank me later. You can absolutely 100% have your cake and eat it too. Just do so in moderation and you'll avoid getting a tummy ache. See what I'm saying? So be as flexible and adaptable as possible during this period. With five energy, change can be around every corner and it may look different than what you had anticipated, especially when it comes to this eight energy of business, wealth, resources, and power. 
So go with the flow while also paying attention to what the situation is trying to highlight for you so that you can make any necessary changes or adjustments that feel good for you. With the coupling of the five and the eight energy for this illumination, think change, transformation, expansion, or restrictions. Remember, you've got the higher and the lower octaves of these energies. Moderation, enjoyment, Uh, you know, don't don't um, be so restrictive that you don't allow yourself to enjoy this energy. Five energy is a lot of fun. It can be a lot of fun. It can be very social, very big and expansive and joyful. And so allow yourself the enjoyment, right? And not, we don't always have to be so serious and sacred about things, right? So overindulgence, um, impulsivity are also possible. So again, moderation, moderation, moderation. Uh, freedom could come into the the forefront uh, when it comes to money, power, resources, uh, business, equity, um, the more tangible things in the physical plane. So you can make this energy work for you. It's all about perspective and driving your actions in the direction that you want to take them, right? Working with the energy. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the individual life path numbers. Life path number eight. So for you all, this illumination is really bringing into focus moderation. Okay, so balance, moderation. Uh, Really what's being emphasized here is overindulgences. So if there's anywhere within your life where you are overindulging, This is going to be a time where you sort of need to rein that in. Uh, And again, just find your balance with it because this, the five energy that we're working with is really going to um, potentially lead to sort of becoming a little bit more scattered in your energy, um, maybe uh, taking a, you know, much bigger risks than you would normally take, which is, is ultimately fine, but you just want to make sure that you're doing that in moderation. Right. And so I think that's really important to kind of keep, uh, keep an eye on. Right. And so anywhere that you're sort of overindulging, just sort of rein it in to where you've got a handle on it is really coming into focus here. Uh, pay attention to your health and your self care. And so if you've been like going out a lot or giving your time and energy and resources or whatever to other people to like, just to the nth degree, then this is going to really be an energy where it's kind of bringing the focus back to you and your own personal, you know, physical, mental, emotional health, and uh, to focus on self care, right, just again, to get a handle on it and to bring everything back into alignment, so that you're not over exerting or, or spreading yourself too thin or whatever the case may be. Be really mindful also to not be overly rigid when it comes to your spending. Now there's, again, there's a fine line here, right? You don't want to be overly rigid, but you don't also, you also don't want to over overspend, right? To where you're getting yourself into either extreme. And so this is going to be a time where you really, you know, a budget would be great or just giving yourself some kind of soft uh, guidelines to kind of, you know, the amount that you want to stay in if you're looking to make a big purchase or something like that, and then sort of sticking to that. I think that's going to come into play for you all. And, you know, it's just a matter of just keeping an eye on it and feeling like you ha- like you have your finger on that pulse. Um, so that if you have to make adjustments, you can do so. Because again, this is going to be a strong energy of things sort of expanding at very fast speeds. And so it might become a little bit, it might be easy to get caught up in that. So just make sure that you're not uh, being too rigid or too, um, um, spend happy or whatever, you know, like you're not overly spending, right? Or you're, and you're not being too overly restrictive either. So just keep your eye on that. Uh, Be careful about being overly critical or dominating in relationships. Uh, It's very possible that that someone may come in that's uh, got a very strong personality that you feel that they are um, exerting themselves in that way towards you. 
And of course, then you would have to address that and set healthy boundaries in that way. But there's definitely something here about taking responsibility for how you are showing up to your relationships. Are you being overly critical of the people in your life who are there to support you and assist and all those things, right? Um, And are you being overly dominating in those relationships? Or are you taking your partner, your friends, your family's ideas, um, knowledge, wisdom into consideration and incorporating that on your journey as well, right? So there's definitely something here coming in just to be very careful not to be overly critical of others at this time or dominating in relationships. Eight energy, just in its essence, is a very strong energy. Um, It can be very stubborn. It can be very dominating in relationships, any relationship. Um, It's just a very ambitious energy and that can kind of get to a point where you sort of bulldoze people on, you know, not with intention, but sometimes that can happen. And so you just want to make sure that you're keeping an an eye on that and just making sure, because it's just, and it's not, again, it's not from intention. It's just that you guys just have this very strong, powerful energy, and that's very easy to um, get caught up in as well. And so I would just say, just make sure that, um, you know, you're just keeping an eye on that. There's also, again, an emphasis on maintaining a healthy balance of power. So again, that's, that's your power and how you exert that power over others, as well as how others, how you allow others to, um, showcase or, um, exert their power over you. And so again, really a lot coming in for eights about that healthy balance of power and compromise. Definitely a lot here about compromise, not sacrifice, right? Like you don't want to like self-sacrifice to accommodate, Um, but compromise is a different story, right? Like, can you give and take a little bit here? Um, You know, are you with a partner or with your friends or surrounding yourself with people who are willing to compromise with you? And I think that there's going to be an opportunity here for you to explore that and maybe even weed out the ones who always ask you to compromise, Um, Or you may find that you're on the receiving end of that if you're never willing to compromise. So I do feel like there's potentially a lot of opportunity here for eights for self-reflection. And I think that your experiences from the external will sort of highlight for you where it is that maybe some adjustments can be made. Um, Just again, and how, how you're showing up to these relationships and how you're showing up to self as well. And what you tolerate, what you don't tolerate, and what you expect other people to tolerate. So a lot coming in under this illumination for you all um, around those sort of themes. So I hope that this is a a wonderful full moon for you all. I think it'll be a powerful one, Um, but I hope it's beautiful. Take care, everyone. Bye for now.